Wind's picking up a bit. Coming to the end of a testing day, there's Mike. Over there's Jake. Here's the deal. I click around on the internet just once in a while, see what guys are saying. I hear a lot of guys bragging how easy it is to shoot, I don't know, a small target like a milk jug at a thousand yards. Have you ever heard that? I have. Have you heard guys act like that it's easy? Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. So we're at the end of a, a long shoot. Mike's getting cold. Why don't you have gloves on, dude? I don't need any stinking gloves. I do. The gun here is called the Nailer. Tika T3 built by this guy right here. 6.5 Creedmoor is a loading. We're at 1170 yards. I got scope cam footage coming up. And I think a lot of what goes on in the internet is guys are shooting on paper at a thousand yards. And then they just put a jug right next to it. We're not doing that. We actually just drove the jug out, no pre shots, cold turkey, true or false, Mike? It's true. So let's see how it goes. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> He's been wanting to shoot. Loading. Yeah. Go ahead. He's cold. Where's his jeans, light jacket. It's a great okay. gun, very accurate. Couldn't pick a better tool for the job. Here we go. Send it. Jake spotting through scope cam. Oh, it's still there. No problem. My prediction with this is it's gonna be extremely hard to hit it. Here's why. We don't have high contrast. He's shooting against the snow. Again? imprecise yardage because I was only able to lace to 1050 and then we had to guess beyond it. I can't see it. You're shooting at the one on the ground, right? Yeah, let me try the left one that's hanging. Right, Maybe we can see it behind the snow on that one. Now, Mike's a great shooter. Lots of long range experience. And my prediction is it will be almost impossible to do it without shooting a ton. Come up, eight tenths, windage was right one tenth. He's in MOA, so talk okay. that to him. Come up, uh, one, let's see where it goes. One minute, you want me to put some wind on it, you say? Well, you were three feet low, and you're, you were, okay. you're uh, four inches right, three feet low. Okay, so let me put, about two and a half minutes. Oh, I gotta fix the brain to go to you. I need to put some right on it, you say? Your impact was right. Okay, I'm gonna take a little right. off. Just a little bit. Okay. This is a Leopold. All right, here we go. Six to 24 Mark IV, awesome scope. Same left hanging one. Got it. This is where he shoots, guys. Feedback? Uh, I think it was slightly left. It was hard to see. Slightly left. I'm trying to find it in this viewfinder here. There it is right there. See that black table? The jugs are to the right of it. The scope cam footage will show it. Now, here's what I think about all the internet stuff you see. And that's why I'm making this video. Now this is set up, by the way. No call. Okay. Is you can shoot a ton of rounds, get on target. Hey, like Jake. These. Yeah. I held left. Sorry. <laughs> Did you? I'm gonna hold right this time. <laughs> you can get on target, like the dudes that do on paper, then drive a jug down. Much more doable, cause you know you're zero. Here we're shooting without a, z a zero for the range. No call. I can't see impact in that snow. When you were three feet low, I could see it splash. Okay. You were hitting some weed. See, see the that. difficulty? There's a brown strip and then a little more gray strip. That is yeah. Front leg. Oh, God. Take the camera off. Let's see what Jake's seen here. I'm going to take a half off. Okay. 
I think that's Yeah, we might have been a little high. I'm thinking in mills, so it takes a sec to convert. We might switch over to the Lapua in a minute. You can see an impact on that. No call. No, no call. That that would be a benefit in the snows. You could see that Lapua yeah, that kick off. Yeah, that 300 grain burr girls. I thought I'd move up. back to the one on the ground. Move back to the one on the ground. Let's see if we can see splash. Because yeah. you were probably hitting the road before, and it was out of camera. Here we go. Got it. Oh, two inches right. Elevation good. Two inches right. That's where your impact was, so adjust left. On hold. And if you favored left edge of the jug, you'd have been on it. Uh, either you hit it and it's leaking, or you hit the snow right in front of it. One of the two. I got a little vapor on that one, so. So I think I'm on now. I think you're on. So now I'll hit a hanging one. I like it. Maybe the one hanging on the right, we might see splash better. I don't know. How many shots was that? Nine. Okay. That's not too bad. For not being able to call impact. It's a lot easier when there's not snow on the ground. It's one of the hardest things to shoot against, though. So something like that. You need something. You shoot a Lapua or a 50, yeah, you're going to see it splash up. And, but it just makes it a little harder. Luckily, it's warm out here, huh, Mike? It is so hot. I am, I am ready to take one of those ice carafe things. I love this gun though. It's so. Take awesome. an ice barrel challenge or whatever. Bucket me. Warm me up in a minute. You gonna try with your freaking uh, desert tech there, dude? Yeah, like I said, it's only got 25 rounds down it now, but we'll see what the dope is. We'll or whichever. Is. We'll see. I'm sure we'll be able to see impact a lot better than yeah. the 6.5 does. That battery's still going over there? Okay, my Jake, left hanging. Can't try the plates. Right hanging. Okay. Still hanging. I'm going to go for the left plate. Tell me when you're on that. I'm on it. The left small or the large black? The big left one. The right. black one's the table. Do you want me to put a round through it? <laughs> no, let's if go you want. Plate. Okay, come up. You were right. See right where the two black legs intersect? Yeah. Like it was just barely low of that. And it was right three inches. This is reality of shooting a milk jug at a le uh, well, we're what, 1,200 yards basically. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a, definitely a lot easier when you can see a, an impact. I mean, with the snow hiding everything, it, it makes it pretty tough. And getting your zero on you paper. Your zero on, yeah. You get I mean, your zero on paper and then hang a jug right next to it, totally doable. I mean, if there's no snow, Mike and I will come out here and we'll be on it in three rounds. But this snow sure makes things hard. No impact, can't follow anything. I'm going back to one of the jugs. Can we get on? Left. Are you ready? Good. We're on. Are you shooting for the right jug? Left one. 
it just seemed a little bit right. Elevation looked good. I'm just going to hold left side of it. Switch over to the Lapua so you can see an impact on the ground. Okay. It's a long ways, dudes. I rest my case. Uh, it is yeah. no give me. Yeah, I mean. Unless you get on, then you start the camera. Yeah. <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> you shoot That's 60 that. rounds and then you start That's filming. It's tough yeah. in the snow. I've watched Mike do it in three rounds, though. Oh, it's, no doubt. It's just I have no snow, doubt. Though, it's, it's rough. You want to try the Lapua, Jakers? Yeah, we'll get my 338 out. Okay, they're not giving up. Out. I like it. Look at this freaking truck. If it had a sleeping camper on the back, it might be an awesome bug out vehicle. We're going to change the bed to a, one of the walk in tool beds and use it. I plow snow with it in the winter, so but it makes a great platform. And, He's shooting uncorked, right? He's dry firing. I don't know. That sounds loud. This is his Desert Tech 338 Lapua with a fat bastard Please. on the front of the gun. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. you see how I, I did. did a comedic yeah. pause no, there, was, Mike? That was nice. I'm trying to be more polite. There's a happier you in there somewhere. We just need to get it out. Oh, wait. This is guns. I guess we should be more serious for the internet audience. What do you think? No. I no, don't think We don't so. do it that way. We're good at what we do, but uh, we have fun. Can I take this off and just look so I can no, actually No, because it's got to film it, dude. The guy's got to be able to see it if he hits it. Well, then I Sorry. Won't. Wish I could change it. No, I don't want to change it now. Cameras are up. Cameras are up. 1,200 yards. Milk jug in the snow oh. that looked to me about 11 o'clock and you're about probably three feet away oh, 11 go right go right a mill and come down a tent Jake and Mike are long range shooters. That is their specialty. That's why I want them making the other. Oh, I think that was just barely to the left of it, I think. Come right and just come right another tent. Okay. I did not see that one. Okay. That was to the right, but your elevation's perfect. Go back left the camera on. Hold just on the left edge of it or just off of it. Either way. That looked way high. Yeah, I jerked it again. So the left right was perfect. It's just in that. This is the reality. Above just above the bar, that one was. That much of a change? Don't believe everything you read or see on the internet. Just saying. Because a lot of guys will tune in those vids, they'll read those comments and go, oh. Milk jug, thousand yards. Just easy breezy. Cold turkey, they think they can make the shot. Ain't gonna happen. What'd you say about the zero, Mike? That your zero's always changing? Always. Constant. Yeah, now the wind's picked up and it's gonna be like that. Wind's probably about a 10 mile an hour crosswind right now. Most. Everything's cold. Yeah. 
Some asshole has his hand on the mag release. Crap happens. Edit that out. Okay. <laughs> totally falling over. Just high. 12 o'clock, I would say that was about probably 10 inches high, maybe 12. The milk jug challenge in the Nut and Fancy project. The milk jug is drawn out. These milk jugs are driven out at a very long range, unknown to the shooter. They have to dope the shot, make the shot. I didn't see that one, brother. I'm gonna move to the right jug. See that. Do we get a kill? No, but you were just barely to the right. Hold left edge and blow that thing up. Which one's he shooting at? He shot Center? at the right one, but see his impact? It's just it barely to the right. Oh, yeah. About a milk jug's width. <laughs> come, come left. Like the thickness of a couple pieces of paper. It's about there. Oh yeah, it's gonna happen. That was just barely, barely left. Damn mad, keep falling out in a quick mad. You can do it, Jake. That one's been here a bit. I feel it. Now you guys, You're right there. You don't have to like go through thousand dollars worth of ammunition hitting this jug but we will <laughs> I, mean, I you know you will to, you didn't have to come out here but these milk jugs <laughs> have got to go down <laughs> i failed you now guys are proving Jake. the point of the video well that is the point and these guys are great shooters these are great guns we're shooting they are quarter third moa guns true or false i would say yeah right in there yeah that's all i'm saying with this video it's but a debunking video. The missing is not because of the guns. Huh? The missing is not because of the guns. I, I want to say it's not because of the shooter either. Yeah, absolutely. The, the wind is changing constantly. You're not really sure where the range is, to be honest. I have no battery. Hang on. You run out of battery. It's like 10 degrees out here. The uh, camera two is ready. All right. Here we go. We're rooting for you, buddy. Come on, Jake. Another $100 in ammo. Evidently, Mike doesn't care. Where was that one? I didn't see it. Of course. Just shoot all the ammo you've got. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want him to say something for future testing, dude. Oh. Were you shooting at Jug 2? Jug 2. You oh, are in the same exact spot you were when it was just... Hold a jug's width left. But here's or, the deal, dude. You're at an oblique angle. Losing light in the losing battery. Challenge. Oh, that was just to the left. Your elevation's perfect. One jug width or 1360 force of a mil left. Hold right. That looked low to me. Perfect elevate or windage though. Left. One jug width. I didn't see that one.
looked left. And it barely missed right. Barely right. Huh. It's all like in that zone. Yeah, all it is. Like right like that. It's all a torso, but enough to yeah. Another three or four hundred bucks worth of ammo and you'll have it. No, we'll be this, by the way, is totally not set up. Jake, is this set up? No, it's not set up at all. This is honest, real shooting. That jug's only like 50 yards away, but this camera makes it look like it's on the other side of the earth. No, it's a, we're gonna drive down and show you what the jugs look like right now. They look fine. Yeah, it's too dark to catch anything. Uh, Mike may have put around with the Creedmoor right through it. We just can't tell at this range. Uh, we'll pick up some other targets we've been shooting out through the day. That's about $450 worth of ammo on that little little gig right there. At least. That was just to foul the barrel. That's that's and expensive to shoot. Brand new barrel. We don't we don't even start messing around until we've got well, we're messing around now, but on this video, tell the guys again what barrel you outfitted that. This was a Bartline with. blank and it's been turned by proof research and carbon wrapped. Um my experience is proof research is way better than that Christensen stuff. I've had so many bad experiences with their interesting with their guns. It's not even funny, but it's two different types of carbon fiber. But we've had way better luck with these. Um, but yeah, it only had 25 rounds on it when we started. Now it's got 45. So we don't even start looking for you know with the Bart lines. We've noticed 50 to 60 rounds. They they'll get a velocity increase. And then uh, they're a lot more consistent around 150 to 200 rounds through the barrel than they, they're a lot more consistent. So we've got some velocity change going on. It's picking up speed. The more we shot at it, the more I had to drop elevation to. I've dropped three tenths in 20 rounds just because awesome. it's fouling out and picking up. But still, I mean, it's a really good example of how hard it is. That's all I'm you know, saying in this video. Creedmoor, That's all I'm saying. You can't see your impacts. You can't. How do you correct? can't correct yeah. yeah you need to see a little puff of dust yeah tack I mean, like yeah, i mean all that stuff yeah it would have been in some it would have been in a right. person's torso yeah right it's not out, out of question but i mean we've been out and had milk jugs at 15 1600 and hit them in four or five rounds but it still takes a little bit of work but is that cold turkey five rounds from bringing it out of the truck sitting down pop five rounds you just hit a milk jug at 1600 <laughs> yards there's guys that can do it. There's guys that do it all the time. And I've, I've seen them do it. We've been out there when they've done it. Um, it's totally doable. It, it's a lot of it's like... These no are just snow, tough conditions. Tough conditions and new barrel. Yours is still... Yours is probably just barely getting 200 rounds on it now. And yep. so we'll see it... We'll see it level out in you know, velocity. It's not to use it as an excuse. Because... It's not that much it's changing on yours right now. Nah, it's shooting really good. Oh, we're gonna wrap it up on the top of this peak and go down and check the jugs.